Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for June 7th to the 8th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aries. Okay, bear with me. I'm trying to do something different. All right, for Aries. So my shuffling is going to be a little weird with these cards. I'm probably not going to shuffle them too much. Next 48 hours. I don't know why I got asparagus. Asparagus could be, so I'm seeing asparagus and corn, like someone's putting butter over it and salt and pepper and putting it into the oven. So asparagus and corn could be significant for Aries. Or there's a need to add that to your uh, diet at this time. I know corn is a starch, but it still be good though. It still be busting. All right. I'm seeing a green lantern, like an actual lantern, but I know that's a, uh, a superhero as well. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it says Bufanite, I think. It says, focus on finding worth and beauty in circumstances or items that others may regard as ugly. Andros, beware of cutting off your nose to spite your face, causing harm to others that only comes back to harm oneself. Like I did a little project yesterday and I went and typed up every like divination meaning for each of these cards and glued it on. <laughs> Cerebrus, focus on humanity and finding comfort within means instead of wanting beyond budget. So this could be for you directly or someone around you. Take it as it resonates. Overall energy is Piccolois. I think I'm saying that right. Beware of long-standing or family feuds. And I kept getting a family feud energy for you. Like every other reading, I would get a family feud energy for you. Of allowing old resentments to linger past the time when anyone remembers what started the dispute. All right. Let me move these so I can see them throughout the reading and circle back. Okay. We'll get into the tarot for Aries. So you and your family could be fighting over money. I feel like someone has an appearance they want to uphold. Someone here has an appearance they want to uphold. And I feel like they go to you. So they're, they're getting mad at you for spending money because they want to keep up an appearance. I don't know. Maybe you guys uh, pay the bills together or join bills or you you um you pay for something in this household and i feel like they rely on you to so they can stretch their own finances because a lot of these are about like arguing over money and someone may be telling you that you live above your means but i don't think that's the case i feel like they're gaslighting you so that they can knight of wands Financial freedom. I, I feel like you're pulling back your money. You're being more strict on how you give money to these people. Um, Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like you've been very compassionate with these people in regards to finances. But you have to like be more strict in order to save. Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Because I feel like you have something planned, judgment. Yeah, you're awakening to how the people around you have been like, I don't know, using you financially so that they can pad their own pockets, I'm hearing. But it says focus on finding beauty in circumstances that others would regard as ugly. So I feel like you are finding the beauty in a situation, gaining some type of uh, freedom or momentum. Yeah, I don't feel like you're the one who's causing harm. Because, like, the Andros is like the Five of Swords or the Knight of Swords trying to win at all costs energy. I feel like someone here is going to become so bitter about you pulling back their energy that they might just, like, they're going to make it worse for themselves. Someone is making it worse for themselves. They're digging themselves a deeper grave or a bigger hole or something like that. Digging themselves into a deeper hole. Let me write that down before I clarify. I feel like with your RNG being judgment, you are awakening to all that's going on around you. This could be family, friend, work, or love. But you're realizing that someone's digging themselves a deeper hole. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I'm just seeing this as you being very compassionate with those around you, but also of yourself. 
And I feel like, yeah, this long-standing feud between you and this person, it, it doesn't even have to be you directly. You could be seeing this going on around you. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, digging their own grave. Like this person, because they're so bitter, they're so mad. They know that this is it. You're not turning back. You're not going to give back. You're not going to go back on your word. This person knows this. So it's like they're acting out. They're just like making themselves like horrible. I just see someone throwing a whole fit, a whole tantrum in front of everyone. And they're looking at you and they're going off, they're screaming. And it's because they know it's done, it's over and, and it's no going back. They know that they can't live the lifestyle they were living off of you anymore. They know they're screwed. And again, this doesn't have to be you directly. You could be uh, witnessing this. They're blaming you for a situation they got themselves into. Because if they weren't, because I'm saying this is a grown person, if they weren't so heavily reliant on you, then they wouldn't be this upset. They wouldn't be like this. Now they can't live the lifestyle they want, but they shouldn't have anyway, because if they have to rely on you, then they're living above their means. Yeah, it says focus on humanity and finding comfort within means instead of wanting beyond budget. I don't think that's you. Of course, you could be saving more at this time. I'm seeing someone eating better or eating on a budget like you're saving because you have some type of goal in mind that you are going to reach. And I feel like someone because and I feel like that's why you're pulling back your money. It's not so, so much like, oh, I'm being used. It's more so I have a goal to reach right now. So I can't be giving y'all what I used to. Like, I'm gonna make sure I take care of my responsibilities, but I got stuff I want to do. And so it's making someone go crazy. <laughs> you could be moving out. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Ace of Swords, the truth. Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise with that Knight of Wands freedom. So it's an opportunity to move. I'm seeing someone move into a new apartment. I feel like it's a, it's a really nice one. I was going to say studio for some of you, but it's a really nice apartment. Or you have an opportunity to like for freedom with that Knight of Wands. I'm seeing it as a move though, but take it as it resonates. Clarifying the Queen of Cups is a chariot cancer. So yeah, someone here is moving or traveling. It could just be a vacation that you want to go on, a place you want to um, visit for a while or, um, or move. Queen of Wands, there you are. See, and I knew that Queen of Cups was you. I feel like you're very fiery, but very compassionate at this time. And you are moving forward or going towards a goal. You are going to meet whatever the status quo is, whatever you're saving for or working towards at this time. You are going to get it. But people around you are going to be very mad because they were benefiting off you. I don't know. Keeping up their lifestyle. You don't mind saving or um, doing less in order to get more. Eight of Wands. And I feel like this is going to happen very fast. This move is going to happen very fast. Or you're going to reach your goal really quickly. With that chariot, with the Eight of Wands right beside it, you're going to reach your goal extremely quick. Especially with the Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. Justice. That's your karmic justice here, Libra. I feel like you've given enough. You paid your karmic debt to these people or your job or whatever this is. You've done the work. You've done enough. It's time to reap your rewards. I also feel like you were being held back or stagnated, not to a degree where someone was planning to hold you back, but they were benefiting off what you were giving them. Again, it allowed them to live a certain lifestyle. I feel like you don't mind. I don't mean that you're in rags but I'm hearing you like you don't mind being in rags in order to get riches if that makes sense like I don't think you're in rags it's just you don't mind living below your means for a while to save up for whatever this is because you don't you rather not go broke clarifying the ace of wands and the five of cups eight of swords so someone is replaying like and I the ace of wands Maybe someone feels as though they acted too quickly in the past and they're disappointed or they're ruminating on how they acted too quickly or they flew off the handles. So if this has already happened, some the person who um the person is regretting it. Whoever went off, 
and had that whole temper tantrum, they're regretting it. Yeah, because that's this person could have given you this opportunity a while back and now they regret it. Someone regrets the Ace of Wands. Maybe the opportunity, they could have taken it, but they didn't. Eight of Swords, and now someone's ruminating over it. Overall energy is a two of wands, judgment. So if you're deciding whether or not you should take the opportunity to go, to move, to travel, to relocate, you should. I'm seeing a move for you as justice. Eight of wands, justice, knight of swords. I feel like someone here is coming in to give you some type of truth, some type of clarity. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Of course, we have the chariot Cancer here and we have Libra with justice. But it, you know the signs you're dealing with, so put it where it goes for you. But yeah, someone's delivering you some type of truth, whether they realize it or not. But I feel like for some of you, someone's delivering this message on purpose. Like it could be a literal letter or email. For some of you, I'm getting a message in the mail, a letter in the mail. That Eight of Wands is like a message, but I was seeing it as movement as well. So you're going to get the clear message to go, go, go. But I feel like someone has regrets about this. I feel like the person who is sending this letter, like the person who gives it to you or the person who is giving it to the third party, like the, I see someone giving a mailman a letter. The person who gave the letter to the mailman regrets this. So the person delivering the message to you doesn't regret it, but the person who wrote it, I guess, if, I hope that makes sense. Either way, you're moving forward. You're moving on. Whether it's physically, I feel like for a lot of you, it's a physical, like, transition move and it's happening fast for others of you it could be just a mental financial status but i feel like it's because you are moving i feel like you're saving up so you can move or go on some type of trip i was trying to decide what deck to use i think i'm gonna use this one i really don't want to use these mm. i'm gonna use this one all right for aries So tell me in the comments how you like the cards I made. I didn't make them, but you know, these cards. Tell me if you like them. Knife, intention, conflict, resolution. Bees, togetherness, work, treasures. Literally, literally. Volcano, patience, repression, lust. So I feel like that's what I was getting slightly like someone was supposed to do this with you or yeah, I think I said that earlier, someone was supposed to take this opportunity for themselves or they were supposed to do it with you. They regret not taking the chance when they had it. And now someone wants to resolve the conflict. I feel like someone messed up. Like y'all were supposed to be in this together, do this together or work together, but they spazzed on you for some reason because you were pulling back your resources. It's like they agreed on upon this until they realized what it really entailed. This is like you starting a gym um, program or exercise program or diet with someone and then you get real serious about it and this person like they start spazzing because they feel like they're left behind like they agreed to something without realizing what it really entails spider focus planning digesting I feel like you're like I'm doing this either with you or without you and someone feels some type of way about that they feel like they're being left behind so that's what I get like someone feels like they're being left out or left behind so I'm going to write that down. Then I'm going to pull from, I'm going to pull the signs. Yeah, they, I just heard they can't handle the truth. Yeah, I heard you can't handle the truth. I don't know why I'm hearing that. All right, for Aries, the signs that Aries could be dealing with. Um, just keep in mind, I'm only pulling like three signs. So it could be anywhere in their chart. For Aries, the signs that Aries could be dealing with. There's literally 12 cards, so I'm trying to cut them in fours. I just wanted to add some fun stuff to the reads for y'all. All right, we have Leo. So someone could be um, dealing with a Leo, Leo or have it highly aspected. Taurus. Gemini. 
Pisces. It could be anywhere in their chart. And don't mind if I didn't call it out. Could have been anywhere in the reading as well. You know who you're dealing with. I think I am still going to pull from this deck. I'm going to get you more from this deck for Aries. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Because I feel like you got a lot of different, me well, same message, but different aspects. All right. Feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. 29. I feel like, because I'm literally seeing a guy. I'm seeing a guy in the mall. And he has on a t-shirt, but it's kind of like rags. And he's eating like a healthy plate. Like it's, he's like on a budget, but still eating good. Still eating healthy. So yeah, that's how I'm seeing it. Like feast. And then she literally has rips in her jeans. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Take that as it resonates though. It's like you're not struggling, but you're living within your, you're like saving. I hope it makes sense. Like you're not really in rags and you're eating well. So maybe you don't look successful, but you are. You have a goal in mind. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is for. And I feel like that has to do with you overworking or eating right at this time. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. 38. Yeah, I feel like this person was cut out because of their own actions. They cut themselves out. Like they said with Andros. Beware of cutting off your nose to spite your face, causing harm to others. That only comes back to harm oneself. Yeah, they cut themselves out. Over on G is 14, thorns, weave, to get, weave together the crown you deserve. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Let me, I appreciate your feedback in the comments, please. I'm doing things a little differently with this read. So I would like to hear what you guys think. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.